Good, good, good morning, good morning or good evening. We do the uh, classes in the evening, so I'm going to say good evening, my super duper heroes. You are my super duper heroes, K5. You know that? I love you. I enjoy having classes with you. And I'm praying, I'm praying so hard that we can see you, inshallah, soon. Okay? So we're going to start our English class. And as usual, we do English class. We read today's date and the month and the weather and the class. So can you read with me? So in your home, read with me. I'm playing with you, so read with me. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. Yesterday was Monday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So those are the days of the week. Look with me here. Today is Tuesday, May the 5th, 2020. So May is the month of the year. And in one year, we have 12 months. The first month is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December is the last month. So here we have our season is spring. Now the flowers are are blooming and and here the weather of today is sunny is super duper sunny and our class is english our project we are working on shorts and shorts and t-shirts okay shorts and t-shirts clothes okay now let's move to the abc's i'm going to say this because this is what i'm going to work with you to, to like a, a friday evening as you see here i have the abc's we're going to see the sound of the ABCs. So, uh, uh, alligator, b, b, beer, s, and k. The C makes two sounds. Make a soft s and a hard k. S, circle, k, cow, cat, d, d, dog, uh, uh, elephant, f, f, fox, j, j, giraffe, h, hedgehog, uh, uh, iguana, ice cream, j, j, jellyfish, k, k, koala, l, lion, m, man, mouse, monkey, n, n, neddy, uh, uh, octopus, p, p, panda, k, k, quail, r, r, rabbit, Snake, sorry, t -t -t turtles, y unicorn, vulture, w whelks, sema, yak, y yak, z z zebra. Okay, after the ABCs, we're gonna move to the shapes and the colors. Hope you memorize the sounds because today I'm gonna work with you again a little bit fives. And we can see the short E and the long E. We can start with the shapes here. As you see, we, I have the shapes, all the shapes here. The first shape is a triangle, square, circle, octagon, oval, diamond, star, rectangle, heart. Now let's move to the colors. As you see the colors here, we have them. We have white, black, purple, orange. Green, yellow, blue, red, pink, brown. Those are the colors. Now let's move to the numbers and we're going to move straight to our project, which is shorts and, and t-shirts, okay? So, as you know, we have the numbers here. We have the first number is number one. We have one baby lion. Two, two baby lions, and three, three koalas, see three, and four, four sheep, and five, five pandas. I don't know what the pandas are eating, honey. Okay, pandas, six goats, six goats, 
seven. Horses, eight. The, so here we're talking not about the ladybug, but we're talking about the spots, okay? Let's count the spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spots. And here the same thing, we're not talking about the ladybug, we're talking about the spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one is ten, but I'm sure you know how to count till twenty. So ten, let's see how many spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And uh, that's uh, Freddie. We don't want to talk to Freddie and Eddie because we want to go straight to, I want to read for you a little story. We're going to go straight to shorts and t-shirts. We did this vocabulary last time. We did a coat, boots, a hat, a jumper, sandals, a t-shirt, short. Coat, boots, a hat, a jumper, sandals, a t-shirt, and shorts. So, um, for the for the class that I'm going to work with you on Friday, uh, it's going to be this class here. So, last time we saw long and short A. Okay, we said long and short A. This time we're going to see the long E and the short E. Long E and the short E. So long E, meet, lead, read. The short one is we, let, wet. We, let, wet. So long E, meet, lead, read. Short one, we, let, wet. Um, I'm going to stop here because this is what I'm going to work with you uh, Friday evening. I'm going to read for you today a story and I want you to do the same home. Read the maximum you can of books. Books are good for you. Get away from the phones, get away from the TV and get away from your tablets. Read. Reading is leading. I love you and a short time I'm going to find you with a story, okay? Love you, my little ones, and we'll do an amazing class Friday, okay? My little one, as I promised you, I want to read for you a story today, but it's not going to be your story. I'm going to pick another story, okay? Uh, I'm going to say, Eeny, mani, mo, take the tiger by its tail. At the horse, let him go. It goes with this one, okay? Oh, my goodness, it's a nice book. You see the gingerbread man? Okay, let's read the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man. It's illustrated by Gail Yerbert. Okay, and the otter. We can see who's the otter. Okay, oh, you see different shapes of the, the gingerbread man. Okay, retold by Lewis Martin, illustrated by Gail Yerbert. Okay, this is the the gingerbread man. And as you see here, we have a horse. We have a cow, we have a pig, we have an old man and an old lady. Old man and old lady. Oh, the old lady is in the kitchen. I think she want to cook something. She want to bake something for her husband. Okay, let's see what she's going to cook. Once upon a time, a little old woman and a little old man lived in a coach near the river. One morning, the little old woman decided to bake a gingerbread man as a special treat. Oh, that's a sweet. So the little old woman mixed together all the ingredients to make the gingerbread doll. Then she rolled the doll out flat and used the cutter to make, to make it into a shape of a little man. Oh, finally, she made some icing for his eyes and mouth and she gave him a three current button and a cherry for a nose. Oh, the gingerbread man was ready to be baked. Huh. Half an hour later, the gingerbread man was baked and the little old woman opened the oven. Suddenly, the gingerbread man jumped up and run through the open kitchen door. Stop! cried the old woman, running after him. I wanted to eat you! 
But the gingerbread man wouldn't stop. He didn't want to be eaten. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. He shanted. Okay, you see the gingerbread man is running away from them. The old lady. Oh my goodness. The gingerbread man ran past the little old man. Stop, cried the little old man. I wanted to eat you. But the gingerbread man ran even faster. I will run away from a little old woman and I can run away from you, he said. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man, he shouted. We'll see next week is the ginger, is the the old woman and the old man can catch the gingerbread man or not or he's gonna keep running 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 till he's gonna reach somewhere else okay this is what we're gonna see next week so today i read for you the first part of this story with the, the old old woman and the old man and the gingerbread man next week we're gonna finish this story hope you liked it and i love this book this is a special book for me I'm going to put it back where it was and I will give you, I will give you meeting for next week to finish this story. I love you. Bye.